Hey everybody, I'm about to drop a um I'm finna drop a live video, man, about DMX and about the struggles that brother went through dealing with the Illuminati and stuff like that. And in and out of jail and actually meeting the devil, the devil incarnate in Arizona, man. I want y'all to check that out. This is a real video, not clickbait. This is the like the preview to the video. I want everybody to check it out, man. In this next video, I want to look take a in in-depth look at why DMX claims that he met the devil in Arizona. Who is this devil he speaks of? Everybody knows that DMX was outspoken about the Illuminati and about the devil and about things of that matter. What did the man really meet and find in Arizona? And why does he say it was the devil incarnate? And not just devil. He says that the devil was not a person. But I'm not going to do a spoiler, man. I'm going to let y'all decide for yourself. Thank you for doing this, by the way. Thank you for, you know, giving me the opportunity to be heard, you know, in, in a positive light. Yeah. We're just in a fair light. And if, if I inadvertently talk about your situation, mm -hmm. you, I got you. you let me know. I got you. Okay. All right, I first came to Arizona, man, and um, I remember one day coming from the studio at 6 o'clock in the morning and pulling over on the highway. We had like four cars, you know, just to watch the sunrise. And it was at that point that I fell in love with, God, with um, Arizona. I said, you know what, this has to be God's country. You know, because I've never seen anything as beautiful as that sunrise. Then I met the devil in God's country. You know, and uh, um, it's not so much who. It, it's what, you know, what happens and, and the things that the devil does. It's not so much a person, even though he, he acts through people. You know, you can't call one person the devil. Joe Arpaio? You know, you can't call any one person the devil. You can't do that because no one person has enough power to be the devil.